Prudence, are you all right? What are you Donna. doing out here in the woods? Thank goodness. The baby's coming. We need to get you to Dr. No. White. No. I can't move. Take my horse. Bring him here. <laughs> Dr. White, come with me now. What's wrong? Prudence is in labor in the forest. In the forest? What in bloody hell is she doing out there? Does not matter. We need to get water. Now? Yes! Is she all right, Doctor? No, she's not all right. She's having a baby, and here, by the looks of it. Yes. Looks to be in fine health as well. Has a good set of lungs on him. No, I don't mean to rush you, but we need to get both you and. Does he have a name yet? Hunter. Smoke, Connor? No, thank you. We were just recalling the eventful day of Little Hunter's birth. I am not sure I have ever been so anxious. Ha! <laughs> I barely remember a thing up until the moment I heard him cry. Then it all slows down, and I recall every little detail. From Hunter's wailing face, to Prudence's teary eyes filled with pure love, to the smell of the mud and the leaves. I've never been as happy as I was in that instant. Ah, uh, things in this house sound right.
Horace, what are you doing out here? I want to give Miriam her knife. Maybe you come with me? Of course. What is keeping you? I am nervous. I am certain she will love the blade you made for her. What am I doing? Giving a woman a knife as a gift? It's so stupid. This is something she will appreciate and use. Ugh. I made the stupid thing. I might as well give it to her. Hello, Miriam. Hello, Norris. Hello, Connor. I'd love to stay and chat, but I promised Ellen a bale of furs this week, and I'm not even close to making good. I need to get out into the bush right away. Two hunters are better than one. I can help if you like. Would you? I'd be much obliged. I, uh, I bring something for you. Maybe, uh, it will help. I really must get moving. I will thank you properly when I get back. Until then... Meet me at my northernmost hunting blind after you take your first skin. Time for forgiveness has passed. Please don't kill me. I'll never come back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm... I won't come back again. I swear it. hadn't had this blade, that lickspittle might have gutted me. A timely gift from Norris, it would seem. Indeed. I must make sure to thank him properly.
Connor! Connor! Dullard of a man has tried to break down her door with his mates. We're on our way to stop it. Yeah, get out here. I'll gut you. Oh, rock and rock Come out here and get what is coming to you. You'll regret this. Ellen and Maria are free of you. I say so. The people behind me say so. Believe me when I tell you, if I ever see you on this land again, I will end you. You can have them. Thank you. All of you. Nobody has ever stood up for us before. We protect our own, Ellen. This is my home now. I'll find a way to show my gratitude to you all. I promise. Got time to lend me a hand? My friend! Norris, what are you doing? She said yes! Miriam? We are getting married! I told you not to touch him, Norris. Is it true? <laughs> yes! <laughs> so now that you've been told, might I have a word? We have much work to do. Of course, what would you have me do? Accompany me to the inn. I have business there. Norris is a stickler when it comes to tradition. Miriam knows not where her father is. And they were hopeful that you might act his part of the ceremony. I am not familiar with colonial wedding customs. It means you will walk with her during the ceremony and give her to Norris as her father. I would be honored. Wonderful. On to other business. Our wedding is a complex beast and require many hands working together to execute. We'll need Warren and Prudence to provide food, Ellen to make them appropriate clothes, Big Dave to smith wedding bands, me to conduct the service, and Oliver and Corinne to host a banquet. That is a lot. We'll start here. 